This is probably just a big call out video for me starting series and then just not continuing them. Hello everybody, welcome back and welcome to a video where I list off all the different series that I have started that I would like to continue. So I was just having a thought of the day about how I, c I couldn't remember the last time that I've actually finished a series. Either because a lot of the series that I'm reading are still ongoing, but then also just because I've not continued a lot of series. I have read like a lot of first books or the first couple of books in the series and then just gotten sidetracked with other books or waited for them to come out and then forgotten that they have now come out and then just not continued reading them. It's a whole thing. I'm just terrible at this. And yeah, so I thought I'd just make a video in an attempt to remind myself about all these books and hopefully I will get to them soon. It's, and, it, and it's not that like I didn't enjoy all these books, all these books are like ones that I've really liked and I've either just taken forever to get to them or as I said, you know, I've read the first book when it first came out and then completely forgotten about the series and now like multiple books have now been released and I'm like, oh yeah, I should probably go back to that series and stuff. So yeah, um, this is just a big call out video for myself, so without further ado, here's all the books I need to continue. So to begin with, there's a few that I want to like, I think I need to reread the first books before deciding if I want to continue because I read them ages ago and I either had a mm, opinion on it and I want to see if my opinions changed and then if I want to read the rest of the series or the ones that I had thought about reading hadn't quite got around to it and now it's been so long I can't remember what happened and I really feel I need to reread. So first of all that is the Graceling series. I read this years ago and then I, got, I, I enjoyed it. It wasn't the most amazing thing I've ever read in my life but I did really enjoy it and I liked the idea of it and the concept. But then I didn't continue with it because I didn't like the idea of it being a companion novel series as opposed to following the same characters. Because I actually quite liked the characters that we followed in the first books and I wasn't really wanting to change characters. So yeah, it's one that I think I need to reread and then I think I will try and continue because I he I see people rave about it all the time. Like it's, it's such a sort of booktube darling, especially with the release of the new book. So yeah, it's one that I definitely want to try again. Another one is The Last Namsara. This is a sort of like you know, dragon killer sort of book kind of thing with the dragons in it and stuff. And again, I really enjoyed it. I read it when it first came out, completely forgot about it, and I think there's at least a sequel, if not multiple sequels, that I would like to reread it, see if I still like it, and I kind of want to try to continue it again because it was actually a really good book. Another one is Strange the Dreamer. Like, I love the Daughter Spoke and Bone trilogy, but when I first read Strange the Dream, Strange, bleh. When I first read Strange the Dreamer, I was a bit sort of underwhelmed by it. I thought the romance was a bit too insta-lovey. I didn't really get too attached to the characters. But I think just because it's so hyped on booktube and a lot of like people who's, who read the same books as me like it, I kind of want to just try it again. I'll, I think I'll reread it. You know, with a sort of, you know, a bit older now, and I've maybe not got the same expectations for it because I do find sometimes that if I reread books now that I know where it's going, I'll appreciate the book more for what it is. So yeah, that's another one I want to read. So I want to read that and then perhaps just get to Muse of Nightmares and see what my opinion is and stuff. And the last one of the ones I want to reread is Caraval. It's another one that I've seen people talk about that people really really like the way that the series goes. And I felt the book first book was okay, but it didn't really deliver on everything I wanted from it. Um, it had an interesting premise, and again, again, I can't actually remember what happened in it, I think I need to reread it, and then I'll see if I want to continue with the series. So, series that I'm sort of in the middle of reading, that I definitely want to continue. Uh, the first one is The Imperium Trilogy by Claire Legrand. Uh, this is the second book, Kingsbane. I've read the first book, Furyborn and Kingsbane, and the last book is Lightbringer. And whilst it's not the most amazing book I've ever read, and I'm not like obsessed with the series, I do enjoy it and I definitely want to finish it off and just see, you know, there's only one more book to go. There's definitely plenty of stuff I'm curious about and I'm very curious to see how it ends. Uh, earlier in this year, January, I picked up Blood Air and I believe the second book in that series has now come out. And again, that's another one that I just, I picked up and yeah, I just need to get to the next book. I did really, really enjoy it. I was highly surprised by it. I wasn't really sure how, what my thought was going to be on it and I really, really liked it. So I definitely want to continue with that series. This year I've also picked up the Farseer trilogy by Robin Hobb. Um, but I read Assassin's Apprentice back in January and then that's me just finished Royal Assassin last week. So I'm hoping to finish the trilogy, you know, 
before the end of this year and maybe not leave it as long in between books as, as I had, but at the same time I'm enjoying sort of taking my time with this one. But yeah, I definitely would like to finish off this series because it's great and I don't want to, I don't, I don't, I don't want it to take too long for me to read the last book. Another book I read a while back was a book called Roar and it was, again, it was, wasn't like the most amazing thing I've ever read but I liked the world and the magic. Um, it's a YA book series that I got when I used to get um, fairy loot boxes and again, you know, I wasn't too big on the romance but I did really like our main character and I thought there was some really interesting stuff at the end of that book with the magic system and with her and again it's just one that I read, I read when it first came out and then I don't know when the second book came out, I think it was maybe last year or the year before, it's taken a while for the second book to come out. I kind of just want to, you know, see where the series goes, if it gets any better or if it gets worse, you know, I'm just curious because I did like the world building and all the sort of magic and stuff. Another book series I really enjoy is the Stalking Jack the Ripper series by Kenny Kerry Maniscalco. This is... I've read Stalking Jack the Ripper and Hun Hunting Prince Dracula, I think is the second one. And I loved both of them so much, but I've and I've started to read the third one, which is Escaping from Houdini, I think. It's on my Kindle, I started reading it and I just stopped reading it for some reason. So I definitely want to re finish that book and I believe there's a fourth book in the series, so it is one that I do, I think, want to finish. Um, again, I don't know why I just stopped reading it, I just did. Um, so hopefully I'll be able to pick that back up again. I recently reread Stalking Jack the Ripper and Hunting Prince Dracula. And I also read a book called Lady Rogue, which kind of reminds me of Hunting Prince Dracula. Uh, very much recommend it if you like the series. So I'm sort of back in that mood for sort of that sort of series. Another book is The Themis Files, which is Waking, um, Sleeping Giants, Waking Gods and Only Human. I read the first two and I really, really enjoyed them. I thought the sort of, you know, the way it was written, it's, it's sort of a sort of, you know, interviews after the fact has happened and it's sort of them recalling what happened or or almost like a sort of log sort of basis and kind of thing. I really really enjoyed it and you know the end of the second book kind of leaves on, leaves on quite a cliffhanger but you know again I just didn't go and get the third book and I do just want to see how that series ends out. Um, you know I've read two thirds of it, might as well finish it off and I did really enjoy it, it's an interesting sci-fi story. The Dreamer Trilogy by Maggie Stiefvater with Colin the Hawk and Mr Impossible already out. I read Call Down the Hawk last year and Mr. Impossible has just got released, so I definitely want to continue with that. I need to go find a copy of Mr. Impossible. Another book is The Light at the Bottom of the World by London Shah. That was another book that I read last year. I just kind of picked it up when I was down in the, one of the big bookshops down in London. And it was a really, really interesting story about, you know, you know, humanity's now living in a completely submerged world because everything's flooded. Um, and it was, some really, it was a really interesting story and I definitely want to see where that series goes. Uh, another book is The Reader, which is one that I had had on my TBR for years. Like I think I put it on my TBR in like 2014, 2015. I finally read it last year and it didn't quite live up to my expectations but I still really enjoyed it. And I, again, there's a trilogy, all the books are out now. I think I definitely want to see where that book series goes. And another series that I've read two of but just need to read the last one is the City of Ghosts trilogy by V. Schwab. Oh, well, Victoria Schwab is sort of the name she goes with this one. This is her middle grade series about a girl who has the ability to see um, ghosts and stuff and her parents are sort of filming this TV show where they are sort of going around all these different sort of ghostly places. You know, the first one's set in Edinburgh, this one's set in France. Um, I really liked the first book because I lived in Edinburgh for a year and I really enjoyed being able to sort of actually pinpoint where they were exactly and what was happening. So again, um, I've read the first two, City of, Go City of Ghosts and Tunnel of Bones, so the third book is now out and I'd like to just see how this series ends off. Earlier this year I also read The Bear and the Nightingale and I've heard that that trilogy is really great, so that's definitely another one that I want to continue, I want to pick up The Girl in the Tower, but kind of similar to Robin Hobb, I don't really mind taking my time with that one, it's very atmospheric and things and I think I definitely just want to take my time with it and just enjoy it for what it is and not get through it too quickly because yeah I, I am really enjoying it and I did really enjoy The Bear and the Nightingale. I also started Thorn earlier this year, that's a really great book and the second book is a sort of companion novel called The Theft of Sunlight which takes place after the events of Thorn but following a different character and definitely I think picking up some plot threads that I felt didn't really get resolved in Thorn so I'm very glad to see that that's still continuing and I think it's now out so definitely going to be getting on with that series. 
I also started The Last Magician, which was another book I read back in January or February or something. Again, really great start to a series. The rest of the trilogy is already out. It's not one I see get talked about too much, but I really, really liked it. And um, yeah, I just need to get around to reading it. I'm also a huge fan of The Chronicles of Ancient Darkness by Michelle Paver. This is um, a series that consists of Wolf Brother, Spirit Walker, Soul Eater, Outcast, Oathbreaker and Ghost Hunter. And recently, just last year, a seventh book has been added to the series called Viper's Daughter. And obviously Ghost Hunter came out ages ago, so it's been quite some time between the sixth and seventh books. She's decided to pick up the series again. This is just one of my favourite books from when I was younger. I still reread it to this day. It's a sort of set in sort of stone age times in the forest and you've got the different clans and you follow this boy whose father dies and he discovers he has the ability to speak to wolves and everything kind of goes from there. It's a really great world building and it's just such an interesting setting and time period that I almost never see explored in fantasy. So I'm definitely curious to see how Viper's daughter has aged up the characters, if she's grown with her audience and just to see what, what story could possibly take place after the events of Ghost Hunter. What more can be told in this world with these characters? I'm really very curious to see how that's going to go forward. The book series are, that, again, I got the first book from Fairy Loot when I got those boxes, and that is Empress of a Thousand Skies. I believe it's a duology, a sci-fi duology. I reread it a couple of years ago, really enjoyed it again, and I definitely want to see what happens because, you know, some interesting plot points were set up and it ends in a really interesting way, and I'm very curious to see where that book goes. And another favourite book, book that I got that I want to continue is Wicked Like a Wildfire. I think I need to reread this one again. Um, but first of all, very pretty cover. We love to see it. And I think I remember rightly the magic was something about like glass blowing or something or something like that. It was really interesting. And what, again, whilst it wasn't, I think, an amazing, amazing book, I think I do remember being intrigued to find out where it goes. So again, um, I think it's a duology. It's another one that I just want to continue. Like, there's so many books that I've just read the first one or read the first couple and then just, you know, not continued it. So, so yes, yeah, so that's sort of most of the book series that have got multiple books released that I haven't um, continued yet that I really want to. Um, yeah, I'm hoping just by making this video it'll encourage me to remember about these books and actually finish them because, you know, I can't actually remember the last time I finished a series. Like, I, as I said, either because books are not out yet, so things like, you know, Legend Board or The Invisible Library or The Witchlands, I'm still waiting for the releases of books, whereas, but there's plenty of books that I just are finished and I just haven't read them. Um, so yeah, so I hope you enjoyed it. Have you read any of these books? Are you really bad for a finishing series or are you really good at, once you've started a series, continuing them on until you're done and then picking up something else? Please let me know in the comments, I'd love to hear from you. And yeah, have you read any of these books? What do you think of them? Please let me know and feel free to leave a like on this video, it makes me feel better about myself and like someone's actually watching these videos. And yeah, but thank you so much for watching, I will see you next time.